Yeah, I'm gonna start recording the streams that way. I've noticed that when you try to download your VODs, it, like, for some reason wants to be such a larger data space take a up thingamabob, if that makes sense. <coughs> it takes up more space than if you just record it and have the recording, because I, I even tested this. I recorded, then I downloaded the VOD, and the recording was, like, a gig and a half, and then the VOD was, like, three and a half to ten gigs. If it's a four-hour stream, it's, like, ten gigs for some fucking reason. I don't know why. So stupid. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah, it was just... Oh. Yeah, bro, it's fucking scaly and messy too. Yikes. It's like a mix of fucking like eczema and something else. So oh, eczema is the worst. That just patches the scales on him, but he also doesn't have. I had. He talks, I had. He talks like this, and as, as well, Jake never lets me do the tag. And half the time, bro, I can't even understand what he's saying. He talks so fast. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> what? I, I'm just being fact. Like it's not bash against. The yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got you. Yeah. But he is also also dick half the time. So you know, okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, come in. He's the best. <laughs> no, it's a tangent. I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> you finish your story. <laughs> uh, what's up? What's up, drinking one? <laughs> you just stop. You really don't drink all like that, though. Oh, but, uh, oh, you my friend this place. No, I mean, like, you know, as long as it's not like daily you're getting sloshed like some oh, people. I mean, I'm not getting sloshed. <laughs> Especially now that I put smoke in since the beginning of this year. Oh, you did. I, I need to get the fuck out of the I can't. I can't fucking do it anymore, bro. I need this in my mind. I can't fucking do it. So, anyways, uh, wow, let's fuck off. I gotta wait for my snippers. So, uh, come in for it. Just you know we're there. And, well, first off, I got asked to come in at. Today. Okay. Wait, why is this why is this trailer villager invisible? Did he drink a potion? Oh my god, he's invisible. Okay. So anyways. At eleven, I got yeah, asked to come in early because someone called off today. That's if I come in at one if I want more hours, my GM told me to finish a show of the day. And I woke up at one, right? Right. So I just hit it with like a oh sorry, I didn't look around here or something like that. Like the message and get 15. But I know that fucking bitch would literally the second I came in, I know she would just leave. The only reason she ever asked Alan to come in early is because they would just leave. So she would leave. Wow. She does it all the time. So, you know, I was like, I'll see when I get done with this and blah blah blah. But she says nothing I was doing, I was just I wasn't gonna come in until my schedule time to go fuck you, that's why. Right. And, uh, I, I come in and know in the back doing shit. Just him, Kayla already left at 3 on the dot. He claims she never leaves right on the dot, but she always leaves always on the dot. And, you know, I'm up front for a bit, and me and Noah were talking, and I just told him this one kid called off the other day that she tried to call in, and then he told her about it just accidentally in conversation, so she called me for the back to talk to me. I walk back there, after we have a three bay sink, like that, though. Right. Every <clears throat> sink is filled to the fucking brim with dishes. And I was like, <laughs> you got me. Oh, oh, I would have been like, dang, that's crazy, and just left all of them. I thought I didn't need them. Right. So, you know, I'm in the office, so she tells me she needs 
called to skip Zach to come in because I didn't know that there wasn't a schedule and whatnot. I believe Zach is also just kind of a slug. Oh. He's cool though, I like him. He's actually, he works well. Yeah. He's he just, he's not bashy, he's just tough. Actually. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Leah and Miley come in as like 17, 16, 17 little sisters, and they see all that in the back, and they're like, what the fuck? And I was like, well, oh, mind you, by the way. Then, like, 15 minutes after that, Jess, just my GM, she just left without touching a single dish. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, Miley and Zach and Leah all came in. Miley and Zach were like, we're going to bust things out. And I was like, I, I was going to send a picture to them. Like, but I was like, you won't care because you just defend Jess as the fucking champs of the guys. So what would the point be? And I can't go to corporate because there is no corporate. Mike is fucking corporate. Everything's fucking useless. <laughs> Fun. So I, I, I was like, I, I told them multiple times to just leave it, but they didn't want to. And I was like, well, okay, if y'all really want to bust all that out, clear up space for you for later, then fine. And they did it all, which they should have done. I wasn't fucking touching them. Right. And so, you know, whatever, midday, you know, and they're like, what's not to talk about? I mean, I like them, they get their job done, but that's the extent that they're fucking putting from the 16. And, uh, from East Cleveland, they act like they should, or West Cleveland, so. Um, with Saeed? So, Sal came and visited me at work because my parents said people at Lee just have to have some, and have a nice smoke break on the side of the building. They're like, Fifteen minutes, and then the rest of the day was just fucking slammed and busy. And lately, because ever since oh, I have some other shit. I don't know. You haven't been on, but so New Year's Day, I didn't get paid time and a half, which I knew wasn't gonna happen. But I was just hoping this year my boss would even maybe be a kind person and pay us time and a half for working New Year's Day. But he right. Didn't. So I was already a shitty New Year's Day, and then I found out from my assistant. So I come in New Year's Day. It's just it, it's a sophomore. Year. But New Year's Day, it's me. Well, I come in, it's Brian, the assistant, Jess, the GM, and Mike, the owner. Mike says hi to me. That's how I'm doing. I'm hungover, obviously. Right. And, you know, that's the end of the conversation there. And, like, if I was the owner of the store, and I wasn't even paying, paying my people time and a half, I would be like, hey, man, I appreciate you coming in today. And yeah, like, yeah. Thanks. Nothing. Fucking leaves without saying a word to anyone. I didn't even know if you left. I thought you just no, nope, just do it. And so Brian's talking to me, and Brian's like, "So uh, apparently Mike's changing the payroll to sync with the other store." And I was like, "Yeah, hey, I remember that. Yes." You heard about that? Yeah, you told me about that. So that just made so yeah. So ever since then, I've just been like, um, fuck this place, fuck you guys. I don't give a shit. I'm half-assing everything, and y'all can get fucked. But then today, at the end of the day. Oh uh, yeah, so because of that, I've been closing at 7.50 the last two times I worked. <laughs> Suckers. Uh, my orders stop at 7.45 and close at 8. I don't give a shit fuck me. Right. But, um, I just got distracted by some shit and, you know, forgot to lock the door or whatever. And some oh no. Some aged African American man came in and it looked fucking like it was something his best life, fucking beret hat. Hell like, yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I was kind of irritated he was there, but then we were talking to him at the register at the end, and the girl was telling him how the entire just tipping prompt and how you can skip it and whatnot. And he was like, "Well, if I'm skipping, I want to make tipping cash." And he got two bowls, which you know, mine maybe like twenty bucks worth. Right. And so we're like, okay, you can press F to skip. And so he asked how many of us were there. We told him five. Bro pulled fucking forty bucks out of his wallet. <laughs> Hell yeah. He was trying to do the math. My man. <laughs> and I was like, you sure, bro? Like, are you positive? Like, are you sure you want to do that right now? What a nice guy. I know, that was like strange. If anything, close with the fucking 750. So all of us walked away with like, well, I walked away with 11 bucks on the day and tipped, which is outrageous for that place, but we almost got 950. Almost still with my parents, but yeah, I just I can't fucking do corporate anymore, bro. The pay is dog shit, the people are dog shit, hours are dog shit, the whole nine yards is dog shit. Get and dog shit, guy, get good! <laughs> fucking dick, dictatorship of bullshit that I can't do anything about, and can't go to anyone about because fucking no one cares. And... 
<clears throat> right. Real quick, how do you make a jack o' lantern? <laughs> or not a jack o' lantern, at least a uh, carved pumpkin. Yeah, I'm actually selling that you need a carved pumpkin for something. I don't remember what. Uh, I, I don't exactly know. I know. So I type pumpkin in my crafting table, nothing pops up. I don't have it. Yeah, no. I'm gonna see if maybe you just skim it with an axe. I, I just uh. always have the wiki like on that, so. Mm -hmm. My. Phone is occupied. Give me a second. I'll look it up. No, I'm looking it up. Pumpkin can mine any tool. When a pumpkin and a carved pumpkin is pushed by a person, it breaks into half. A carved pumpkin or a snow golem can be. You have to make a snow golem and carve its head with shears. Oh wait, a carved pumpkin. Cheers to Carver's spooky face. Hold on, a carved pumpkin and four pumpkin seeds is obtained by using shears on an uncarved pumpkin. Once carved, the pumpkin cannot be changed back to an uncarved. So basically, you place pumpkin on the ground and cheer. Yeah. Good job, team. Okay, uh, I gotta find my shears. I have like a million things and a million chests. I'll just make new ones. <laughs> so fucking Manny has just been absolutely avoiding any type of work like the fucking plague. <laughs> yeah, but like it's really bad now. <clears throat> um. So first off, yesterday, I was in the kitchen because we didn't have a second kitchen person. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll do the kitchen stuff today. No big deal." Yeah, yeah. I I was in the middle of actively doing something, like I was doing the cookies, and she walks over. Mike, where's Josh? I was like, I don't know. She goes, "But you're a lead," and my literal response was, "So are you." And I started walking away, and sh she said under her breath, no responsibility. It's like, dude, I'm I'm genuinely doing work right now. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I because I didn't hear her say it. If I heard her say it, I would turn around. I would have been like, I'm literally doing something. Yeah, Ashley heard it because Ashley was standing next to her. So Ashley told me about it, obviously. I was like, Jesus Christ. So today, right... There, it's Friday, so we're busy nonstop at the Lions, and she's doing the back stock, which, whatever, because I spent like an hour rolling money, not just for today, but for tomorrow. Like, I literally spaced out all of the cash, so that way tomorrow when I come in, since we don't have anybody, I can just sit in the office and roll it up, you know? Fucking news, finally. Got my stupid Windows thing up here. Hold on. Hey, I got questions for you, bud. What, 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 what did you die from two days ago? Three times by game design mechanics while you were AFK. I was, um, I was bed mining the nether. Oh, um, but you couldn't respond to me? I see questions. I had a fucking massive headache. I didn't want to talk to anyone that day. Fine, see if I care. Fine. I <laughs> hope it hurt. So, <clears throat> anyway, so she's avoiding work today. Yes, you caught us bitching about work. <clears throat> she's avoiding work like the plague, right, doing the back stock. <clears throat> and I had finished up what I was doing, and I saw she was ringing people out finally. So I saw her cart just sitting in the middle of the floor, and I was like, oh, bet. So I picked up where she left off, because I knew if I did it, it would only take me ten minutes, versus the three hours she's already been working on it. Right, so I'm fucking putting shit away. I get it all done. So the cart was left with a box of combos on it, and the combos were all full. So I was like, okay, no more combos. So I put them all back. Cool. Yeah. Right. She disappears. Nobody finds her after I finish the back stock. I was like, okay, so I finished her job. So instead of just you know staying up front and helping out, she just disappears into the fucking void. <laughs> right. 
we see her like probably 30 minutes later with the combos that I just stocked on the cart, the one she had beforehand. And she pulls the cart up, sees they're full, and then just starts picking up bags randomly and like spinning them around looking at them and putting them down, picking up the bag that was next to it, spinning it around, looking at it, putting it down. I was like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh no, that was pretty much it. <laughs> that's the end of my story time. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. But like, is that's ridiculous? I could tell. I heard heard you guys talking about it yesterday. Spawned in twice last night. <laughs> I have, mind you, I have full diamond armor with a helmet with blast protection three, chest plate and pants with protection four, and boots with fire protection, so it's kind of useless. Put full diamond and it's fucking sonic blast with Yeah, that sounds about accurate. We just gotta gangbang him. I don't know. You know all I do is build in Minecraft. <laughs> you expect me to fight? <laughs> I'll go kill the dragon by myself. Fine, see if I care. Can I do that? Do I have permission? Uh, you have to ask Ashley. I don't care. I don't give a fuck about the Ender Dragon. How the fuck did you find the portal? Uh, I find there you just build them. Oh. Nah. Why is there a a dirt tower up to the tip of my castle? Could have been from Ashley yesterday. Uh, we were talking about how she was like, "Yeah, your villager, your iron farm gets raided right because you have a bell at your place and you get raided right that way." And then as we pulled up to you guys today, we were raided right captain. Uh, one of the villagers may have died because the villagers spawned from the side. That's fine. He can die. <laughs> They'll reproduce. I have like 85,000 of them. Wait, you could actually spawn him? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so he's just on the loose somewhere. No, he goes back into the ground after a minute of being completely unbothered by Oh, okay. I need a new shovel. Like the mending book. Yes, Hell yeah.
<laughs> you know there's a cooldown. <laughs> so did you wait? <laughs> Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. I was doing both because I was broke. I got legend on all my armor and my sword. Both my pickaxes are just sitting on my shoulders and axe now. Oh, I remember what I was gonna do. Hell yeah. Sticks. Did Colin notice his fucking uh, iron was missing? <laughs> uh, I was gonna put it back and I'd forgot, and then he got on recently. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, Jason, uh, you know where you have like that dirt with the water elevator on the side to the left of the portal? To the left of the portal? Yeah, you have like the water elevator. Not the one on the beach, but to the left of another portal. Or to the right of the portal in the water, I guess. Not in the water, but like. Talk about these nuts. No. <clears throat> like if you if you come to the port if you're at your house and walk to the portal and then like keep going into the water and into the right on the land, there's like a water elevator you built there. I'll walk you to the portal. Regardless, Colin found it and I think he's getting closer to finding the lush pile we blocked off from him. Okay, hold on. Okay, is it daytime? No, I, I'm fine with going to sleep. I'm not near a bed. I'm nowhere near a bed. <laughs> Fucking funny, bud. Go on, Mason, go to sleep. You f talk the truth. Go to sleep, you fool. Who else would it have been? It's like I just flipped out there and it wasn't working, man. Nice. They need to program iron golems to avoid water. <laughs> so far he's do he's doing a good job, but usually they kind of just walk into the pond and drown themselves. <laughs> Well, no, because if they're spawning in, like, they could do it where they don't change the spawning, so he just spawns and drowns, but, like, if you build one, he actively will avoid the looter. He doesn't drown in the water when he spawns. He gets oh, that's not how he dies? Him. No, you push him into the lava as it's back to the oh. water. So he constantly burns pools, burns pools, burns pools. Yeah, I built one. He's kind of just like chilling. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. The Deku tree. <laughs> Goku tree. Uh. Don't you, don't you ever insult Zelda like that ever again. Zelda is a girl. Link. Link is a boy. Nah.
Whoa. You just blew my mind. <laughs> Put a chicken in it, Mick. <laughs> I made a secret storage room and there's a villager in it. What did that, you say? that bastard. Well, you don't know where it is, but also it's more of to hide my stuff from Colin. I know, but just in case. Last time when we played with him, he will, because I played the violence with him, he was in for a while. And, um, and then he found out from Minecraft, and he was pretty okay. He was just narrating for like 7 seconds. <laughs> I'm opening a chest. I'm putting some things in my chest. Oh, oh, I got two eggs. I got two eggs. Uh, we're gonna move these stairs to here. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, on this episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. Yeah, for real. <laughs> he was talking like he was doing a YouTube video. <laughs> yes. Pretty funny. The boob tube. What are you eating boobs, man? Ah, sick tits. I guess I could just move my inventory while it's nighttime. Or not my inventory, but like all the shit I have. Starting with the dirt. Dirt. Precious dirt. Oh, you're dirty. That was just uncalled for. I'll show you dirty. Wait, why were you mining the nether with the guts? The nether right. You mean uh, nether right? Yes, I, I got what I was after. The who? Huh? Yeah. Go gadget. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to mine so much wood. Just do what I did, fill a whole chest with stacks of lo logs before you progress makes the dream so much easier. my projects for the day. I got two set in mind that I absolutely must complete. Nah, I just need to beat, make sure I'm always more advanced than the island. <laughs> I have a little library with efficiency 5 book, I'm breaking 3, fire aspect, fire fall, and mending. I don't know, man, it sounds like y'all are falling behind. It just sounds like a bunch of big words to me. Sounds like some slack. Scary words. Uh, architecturally, I'm trying to be more advanced. 
Yeah, we got two. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. How much more advanced can you get? No. No one knows how they put those blocks there. It's still a mystery. <laughs> Oh man, did the a Minecraft aliens come down and do it for you? Ooh, that's a good theory. Enderman built the pyramids. You just tune into the History Channel one day and it's like, Did Enderman build the pyramids? It's like an old black and white photo with an Enderman photoshopped in <laughs> next to a pyramid. Holding a sandstone block. <laughs> Did Slender Man build the pyramids? Were all those children he was kidnapping enslaved to build the pyramids? Slender people build the pyramids. Find out on this episode of Ancient Aliens. Did you hear about those girls who like actually committed a murder for Slender Man? The Canadonna? Yeah, yeah. Like they thought that. The two of them thought that killing their this girl would bring Slender Man to them. Wasn't that like a long time ago and they killed their best friend in the woods? Best friend is a loose term. They were like okay, fake no, fake true. friends with her. But yeah, so they killed their yeah. friend. In the woods. Yeah. They were like fourteen. Well actually they didn't kill her. I, I don't I think she survived. They uh after being stabbed multiple times, she said she just played dead and crawled out to the street where somebody found her, and she actually survived. That's how they got caught. <laughs> Super serial. And then Slenderman came and actually killed them all in one. Oh, baby, a triple! <laughs> No. I wasn't expecting that to be that loud. I apologize. It, it was fine. It wasn't like, that loud. I have, a, I have a few of them that say that. And... No, that was that was perfect volume. But also, like, it's funny because he says a triple and there was literally three of them. <laughs> Peak comedy. There's a ton of wolves by my house. Where'd you get the cheese, Daddy? Feeling a little woozy. Girl, I just watched that movie the other day. Like the actual movie or the scary movie? No, the like, wait, what? Like in, in Scream? Okay, so a lot of, I've, I've watched the first three Scream movies just because I was bored, right? And a lot of the scary movie lines that they reference Scream aren't even like jokes. They l deliver the lines exactly how they are in the Scream movies. Which just shows how goofy the writing was. There, that explains one line in the scary movie. Um, fucking, what's his called? Um, what's his name? Shorty says, no, like, they're talking about a killer in a movie. And he, he's like, yeah, same lines and everything in this movie. Scream. Yeah, yeah, like, the, that, that joke is a double, like, layered joke because they literally took lines just from the movie. And if you've never seen Scream... You'd think they're just being goofy, but they're they're literally doing the lines exactly like how they are in Scream. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you name the camel lock dog. <laughs> it's dog. Is that what it is in South Central? Yes, Loke dog. Loke dog. I just saw that because I actually invented a piece of wood on that building, so I fixed it. Yeah, I, I, I named the camel, camel Loke dog like so long ago. Well, I don't go in there. Yeah, because there's no purpose <coughs> to go in there. Why do you look at the word L O K E and think it's pronounced lock? Well, I just don't know if you fucked it up, honestly. Because I don't remember what the guy's name exactly was, so. Alright, where is this water tower thing you're talking about? What is. Oh! Welcome to the courtyard. What the fuck are these things? Diamonds? This? This is Skulk. Skulk. This is Skulk. <coughs> this is, uh, come here. Come here really quick. So a couple ah. things can happen. Um, I will use the sheep as bait here. I can get sheep to come out without uh, all the sheep running. So 
basically, first off, these are skull sensors. They detect vibration and movement. And this is a skull shrieker that screams when it detects noise. And yeah, that happens four times in the deep dark and it spawns a warden. Um, it doesn't spawn a warden when you place some of your stuff that has to be naturally generated. And you can only get all this with the skull <coughs> And then this block right here is a skull catalyst. And if you kill mobs within the area of it, hold on, let me get the other blocks here. And place some of these blocks in here, and place this here, and this here. Grab this. Skulk. And where's my other skulk? Just. Ugh, oh. Another dirt escapade. Did I use them all? I have so much dirt by the end of this. <coughs> Might put it on another chest somewhere else. I don't, I don't know if they're. So the. Uh, that's Skull Cabane on those blocks. So basically, Skull Catalyst, if you kill a mob, this block here, if you kill a mob within a range of it, it basically will generate Skull and Skulk Vein, so that way you don't have to go into the deep dark to get it. This is Skulk. Oh, Skulker. And then, this is Skulk Vein, and you can place it on any block. I was gonna place one of these under your house last night and scared the shit out of me, but it was too late, I didn't feel like doing it. I was gonna say, if I could find a mob, I would go do it, but... I don't think it's night time. So. It's raining though. So the elevator, uh, let me line this up. Alright, this way. <laughs> also, those are my foxes tied to the front of the house there. I guess to the right was a little off because it's a lot more room to the right. Also, did you make this fucking fence pen over here? Yeah, that's where the turtles were gonna go, but it just never happened. Because I saw you put like a fucking thing over here, a water elevator. <coughs> Where was that at? It was on the island. I remember you showed me this. It was like to a cave. Oh, somewhere. this one. I forgot about this one. Yeah, the dirt to you. Was it so what you're saying is I need to hide it better? <laughs> Colin found it. He found the elevator and went down. So he knows. He nice. Took the water away. What a dick. <laughs> he took the water away? Oh, that's savage. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I gotta get rid of this stupid ass dirt pillar. I'm not sure, uh, I mean, he said he found it and then just left here and like, the hell? Explored it under or anything. Well, he clearly did something if the water's gone. I guess, yeah. Why does it always seem like it's on Colin's vault something happens at like sure? That's what I'm saying, man. That's why my secret room needs to be a secret. Hey, <coughs> I get you to add one person to the server. Oh, yeah, we were talking about this last time. Well, so Zach wants to join. You know Zach. You yeah. Know Zach, right? Yeah. Why is it every time you talk about Zach, you go, you know Zach? Because he doesn't talk to me like a lot, so I'm not sure if he forgets. Because Ashley. I, I, I remember Zach. I've talked to Zach like twice in my life. Oh my god. How did he get out? Did he just dig his way out? He closed this air. Oh my god, yeah, he. 
Supposed to leave no trace. Yeah, if we got if we banned him, he would never live it down. He wouldn't talk to us ever again. <laughs> I don't know about that. He'd just be like, "You guys suck. You guys are these are stupid fake friends." <laughs> I'm telling you, his Minecraft accolades he claims are, you know, a little, little sus. I had to give him 20 boys down there yesterday because I don't want to tell him where the other fortress was. Oh, I got some coal. I forgot about that. What? The coastline, the whole Mike, Mike ate the whole bowl because he's a white girl. I think he is late. Oh, oh yeah, the coleslaw. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. So I went to the store and I got a new type of coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love this conversation. <laughs> it's a funky coleslaw, man. <laughs> That's funny. Coleslaw. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what are you talking about? I hate coleslaw. Is it more intense coleslaw? Technically, no. It's slightly weaker. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Oh, uh, coleslaw tastes the same. Tastes stronger, but uh, they're about the same. That's good. Do we have any movie nights in the coming future? I will not be eating any coleslaw. Dang. Sadly. Sucks for you. It really does. I have wanted to blow my brains out because I just love coleslaw so much. <laughs> We need to forever talk in code like this. It's so fucking funny. It makes it funnier. What do you mean code, Mike? We're talking about coleslaw. Yeah, Mike, I'm, I'm not a coder. <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Really, I just really like coleslaw. Coleslaw. I got rid of my fucking sticks. I was so confused for a second. Right. So I, I was devastatingly confused because I was like, bro, I hate coleslaw. What are you on about? It's spicy. And I was like, just because the coleslaw is spicy does not mean it should go with the tacos. It depends on the meat you use. I could see it working with like something different. It wouldn't really be like tacos though. It would be just more like spicy wrap. Yeah. yeah I can see that still. Coleslaw is ugh. Damn bro, I didn't know your mom was chill like that. <laughs> I said I didn't know she was chill like that. <laughs> no, 
This is gonna be such a pain in the ass. I'm literally sorting each chest by each individual block I own. So one chest for each item. I have carb. Along who? I haven't done that by like block, ask, or region. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, but I literally. I probably have like 300, 400 chests. <laughs> so I could literally. I could do it by every individual item. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up how many. Like grip, towel, et cetera, and then below that is like the stairs, <clears throat> fences, et cetera. I'm gonna look up how many different blocks are in Minecraft. Nothing, bro. But I wanted to make frog light last night, which is like, the, you know the uh, sea lanterns from the ocean places? Over 150 different blocks. That's a lot. <sighs> alright, 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 let me. So, you know the sea lanterns from like the ocean monuments? Sure. The bright, One, what two, I use my three, the four, five, six, seven, block. eight, nine, there ten, are eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six by three. You need a magma cube farm. And the very baby magma cubes, which like are ask slime, right? Because slime like magma cubes. The smallest version of that, of that magma cube. In order to get frog light, a frog has to eat a baby magma cube and then it poops out frog light. What? Yeah. What, what Minecraft developer was like, hey guys, let's just take another magma cube and make a frog eat it and it poops out light. And that's how you get it. Okay, I definitely. This elevator is so bad. <clears throat> I definitely have enough fucking chests to do up a double chest of each block type. <laughs> That's how crazy my storage room is. Why is Colin just break water elevator because he broke the water elevator in my dining car because that water? I don't understand how you break the water elevator too, because it's all source blocks. So like even if you hit something, it wouldn't affect it. So I had it set to go. Okay, no, no, no. no, it would still be source blocks. I was, I was wrong about what he actually did. What he did, oh my fucking god, there's so many slimes down here. Um, is he decided he didn't want the elevator going all the way down like I had it. He decided to shorten it by blocking off the original drop point and whatnot. But he did not put soul sand down so it's like a normal elevator. It's just an old, stupid elevator. <laughs> Wild, yeah. right? This was big, dumb play. Can we take them off the island? No, because then he's going to come over here. <laughs> Oh, the crazy cool cliff thing. Yeah, he was like, it's shaped like a dragon head. Oh my god, my bow's invisible. It doesn't. So what's the point of having a fortune to axe then? Not sure if axe is gonna even get fortune actually. Oh, okay. I know my axe will do fortune, so I don't know if I'm gonna have one third shirt built in.
Oh, this Iron Golem's playing Risky Biscuits. He's right on the edge of the pond. <laughs> I don't know. Go on, Mr. Wiki, look it up. Listen, listen, we'll give him a fair trial. We'll put him on trial. We'll build a courthouse. We'll put his Minecraft dude in it. And then we'll be like, all right, Khan, explain. <laughs> and see if he could talk his way. How does this happen? He's probably just drunk. Let's be real. Yeah. Like, I don't run half the shit I'm doing on this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him a Minecraft DUI. Well, I drop down that Someone took all my kelp and never returned it. Dang, that's you crazy. I let you borrow it. And you said you put it back. But then you said and then I, I, I employed Ashley to go get some. Yeah, and now all, I have like five stacks of it and I am at zero now basically. My remaining kelp went into my bone meal finally. And it's really still getting my shit back. Yeah, I don't have any kelp. <clears throat> I had kelp once to build my elevator, and that was it. And it was only like five blocks tall. Wait, can you bone meal kelp in the elevator to make it grow all the way to the top, creating a source block all the way up? Yeah, you didn't know that. Uh, no, I thought you were placing kelp in each individual block. Well, sometimes I do. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, that's badass. Tip for future. Tip for future. He's leaving out a few details. Wait, hold on. Where, where, where does this work? He's trying to come to. Hold on. Fuck this line. That's probably how he found it. He thought it was just random model. Uh. <laughs> The defendant is claiming foul play. Standing down here is a giant cave that he is working on right now. 
I place the sign that says, don't fuck with my elevator. <laughs> Last week was like 50 years ago, man. Yeah, man, that was like so last week. Well, that's fucking notice. Why didn't they ask you to do that? Come on, I don't want to go down. I want to get out. Ah! That's my idea. Just mining a quarry out to buy, uh... Yeah, but it's the same concept, essentially. To replant all of Ashley's flowers every time I pick them up. I just dug up. Imagination. Hello? Oh! What about my fucking flowers? I said I have to replant your flowers every time I use them. Or every time I accidentally dig them up. No! No! I'm replanting them right next to the place. <laughs> Who the heck was that guy? This is the worst part about Minecraft. I hope he finds a way to use the elevator and then block him off. That's just frowning. And, um, I mean, I could be exaggerating this for the worst things, not because I was also drunk last night. <laughs> you frickin' alcoholics. But, uh, oh, so you'll drink the juice but not eat the coleslaw? Bro, I, I don't. This is temporary, okay? Pull it together. This is me replacing it for coleslaw. That's what they all say. Don't fucking fucking name me an Andy, okay? <laughs> what, name you an what? <laughs> Andy. Oh, <laughs> that is not what I was referring to. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. You can go get the uh, grape happy dad, which is Snoop Dogg's beer. Yeah. Why are you what? gonna push this fucking oh. trim, bro? How about you mind your own fucking business, buddy? <laughs> How about you fucking finish what you're working on? This is a fucking hazard. How is this a hazard? I'm riding my horse up there because it's here. Okay, I'm not gonna build a structure around hey, my fucking horse. I would just don't go up it. I don't know, man. I was gonna get you a bunch of sand last night for it. Mike! Oh. I, uh, I'm so I'm so sorry. Can I'm you pretty get my sure drink? I have enough. I just yeah. Can like, get inside well, first. Yeah, after I, I was, shake you know, this. Uh, it's a chip. Who's watching your chat? Who's watching your stream? Nobody. I'm just kind of dicking around. Give me a second. Dicking around. Where is your drink? Why is it all the way over there? Minecraft. 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 Minecra
Yeah. God damn. I'm so glad that this lightning rod was not good. Why? <clears throat> yeah, why Why does it make you glad? Because lightning will be captured on fire and spawn fucking zombie skeletons on hoistings. Oh. So the lightning rod prevents that. Yes, it will restrict the lightning rod within the area. Interesting mathematics. Please move. I'm gonna send you guys the picture in Discord of what I'm drinking, and I want you guys to guess what it is. Uh, no. Oh, he's got the. It tastes like. Always try to pass around the. Drinking herbal medicine. Is that what it is? Yeah. I'm, I'll look. That gives me the opportunity to turn you guys up also. Oh, he's got the. It tastes like. It's very good. Jungle, jungle juice. Or some shit like that. No. Oh my god, you are so loud. Bro, your lampshade bothers me so much. <laughs> that's, okay, that's because the, you see the gold part? That's where the knob is to turn it on and off. And so, like, that's just naturally what happens when I'm turning it on. Well, it's unnatural. Get over it. What, what am I drinking? Know, apple cider. Apple piss. No, pee. You're drinking piss. Good for you. It's my fucking pee, bro. <laughs> Why are you drinking your pee? Uh, your Why not? Why waste the water? Why waste the water? Why waste the water is crazy. <laughs> Can't bear bills. I went to turn you guys up and Minecraft got louder. What the fuck? Sounds like a you problem. It is a me problem. Who who invented this? Oh my god, it is louder. I'll just turn down the game audio. Fuck you, Minecraft. Um, oh, but to be realistic, that's what lemonade looks like when you use um unrefined, unbleached sugar. It makes it look like pee. Oh, you made homemade lemonade. Huh? You made homemade lemonade? Yes. Lemon. But it looks like tea. It literally looks like tea. Okay, I can just use my mouse. I don't know why I'm using it. That looks more like an apple cider than tea. It's oh, like what tea looks like. Maybe it looks different because it's in the picture. But on my end, it's, it's yellow, but it's dark yellow. Dark yellow. That's fucking racist, man. <laughs> man looking like a Simpson. Dude, when I went to go buy the Coast Law, I didn't know. They were so, like, I don't know, paranoid that I, when I pulled in, I, like, sat on my phone for a minute. And within, like, uh, a minute and a half, there's some guy banging on my window going, Do you need something? <laughs> why, why would they be paranoid? <laughs> paranoid about what? They must be doing some other sketchy shit. Yeah, at that point, yeah. I mean, like, it's like, I don't know how to explain this coastal place. It's like, it's not like a normal storefront. You, you have to walk through like, there's a, there's cameras all over the place. It's a you double entry. Not exactly. Um, so basically you walk in and then there's a lobby where you have to sign in, okay? Then you send, they send you through double doors. And then you, when you leave, you have to go through double doors, which pumps you out into the, um, into the parking lot where there's a camera directly on you. So it's like, yeah, they, they really don't want to get robbed, I guess. Yeah, it's a little bit more fair. Yeah, be, not being robbed sounds more realistic than them doing something Come on, sketchy. That guy in your window is wild. 
There's also no windows in that place. So how do they see you? Oh, camera. Camera, right? you ding dong. <laughs> hey, I'll fucking ding your dog. I guess they're also just bored because I walk in there and there's like eight people working and the shop is like Empty. the size of my apartment. Well, I probably make enough that they uh, don't uh, worry about closing down, but also. I don't know, it, it is. Our dispensaries privatized like that? Wait, you get your coleslaw from a dispensary? <laughs> the market? <laughs> For context, we're in Ohio, so. Uh, Are you explaining that coleslaw is not from Ohio? Well, not everybody outside of Ohio knows about coleslaw being coleslaw. Eyesed. Coleslawable. Coleslawable. Coleslaw. Some real high grade Colombian coleslaw. <laughs> I don't know. Does this coleslaw say where it's from? I'm sure it's made in Ohio. Oh, you're seeing where it even comes from. I see what you mean. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that it's they down. they make the coleslaw fresh from here. Yep. It should say on your coleslaw packaging where it was. It, it it'll expire because it's just gonna get dry like a crunchy leaf <laughs> it does not stay whack we sleeping? no I just I did that by accident I'm in the kitchen right where you keep coleslaw yeah bring me a sandwich Supplies for sandwiches. I'm making a, a mini pizza. Ooh, dude. Uh, fuck. What was it? It's not the only kind of uh... Huh? Huh? Oh. oh, there's some fucking gravel in here. Great. I missed a block. Uh. Uh. I'm breaking. Ram shoes was not worth it. I mean, it kind of is. For the emeralds it took, it does not feel worth it. Bro, it's, it's too fucking iron. Yeah, I got not. I just wanted to see what it would do. How long it would last. And on that day, Chris found out he was not happy with unbreaking on shears. Moo. Bruce thinks he's getting some pizza. <laughs> Will you shut up? If you got something to say, just fucking say it. Nah, I'm getting sick, man. You're sick as fuck, bro. Pretty sick, <laughs> nasty, man. Dude, I'm, that shit was so funny to me, just seeing the aliens with the skateboards. Like, <laughs> aliens are real and they're sick as fuck. <laughs> What? And on vacation, they have the uh, aliens painted in the sweet shop on the roof, and they have like skateboards and they're shredding like a half pipe. <laughs> and I took a picture of it. It was like aliens are real and they're sick as fuck. <laughs> oh, man, it was it was funny to me. I was cracking up for like a good ten minutes straight. <laughs> I can't imagine you just like in this random shop staring at the ceiling just geeking out <laughs> for 10 minutes. Well, I wasn't alone, like, so it wasn't like weird. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> they also have an ice cream shop. I was sitting there eating my ice cream at the table. <laughs> so it makes sense. <laughs> I sound, um, might sound bad, but I saw today that, like, whatever actor for Indiana Jones. Harrison Ford. No, it wasn't him. Oh. Yeah, it was, like, the newer Indiana Jones. Wait, it like, Harrison Ford. 
No, it was a dude. I think because I think in the new one they have the girl as like the main character, but whoever played Indy, the dude in that movie, he died in like a plane crash with his children, which uh, I have also saw that it is ironically like the same month and around the same time that happened to Kobe. Wait, 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 wait. You said the a the actor that plays Indiana Jones. The newer actor. There's it's still Harrison Ford. No, it's not. I watched the movie. It's <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Ford. basically watch the movie. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I think you need to clear up some okay. facts here, because that's just incorrect. Well, he, he might be another actor in the movie that, or something, because it, the headline is Indiana Jones star Christian Oliver and his daughter is killed in Caribbean plane crash. Caribbean. He was known for his roles in films like Speed Racer, The Babies of the Club. Right Speed now, Racer. What a time to be alive. But I saw that with like Indiana Jones on the headline. I was like, oh shit, Harrison Ford died. And then I looked it up and I was like, wait, that's not Harrison Ford. Why do I care? Oh my god. I don't know who this guy is. Well, yeah, that was exactly my point. I didn't know who he, he played, he played, uh, archaeologist helper number three. <laughs> I, looked oh. up, I looked up his name. Oh, wait. Christian Indiana. Oliver. Christian Oliver is his name. Other great roles in yeah, know, Speed it, Racer yeah. as pit crew member number five. But what character was he? I, I looked gonna, up I'm his gonna, name with Indiana Jones and nothing came up. I'm just going to type his name with IMDb. That's going to be the best way. Um, so, let's see. Upcoming, no. So, previous... Ugh, this is going to take forever. He was in a lot of shit, but... He was in apparently Call of Duty World War II. <laughs> Whoa. I see nothing with his name with Indiana Jones and IMDb, so I don't know why these headlines are saying... Aren't they Indiana just, like, Jones. completely fucked up what movie he's in? Probably. <clears throat> no one's fact-checking this shit. Christian Mo Most journalist sites don't. So Indiana Jones character. In known for Indian Jones in the Dial of Destiny. Wait. Now oh, Google. Who was Indiana? What the fuck? Christian? I look up I look up an article that says uh, he recently graced the screen in the latest Indiana Jones movie, leaving an incredible mark on the entertainment industry. Doesn't say anything about who he was in the movie! <laughs> That's it! <coughs> yeah, really left a bark. Nobody knows who he is. <laughs> who is this guy? What I'm what saying, bro. That's why I was like, who even is? mention Indiana Jones? It's, it's just for the headlines, honestly. So... It's just to draw you, and they're like, oh no, somebody from Indiana Jones died. It's literally just for the headline. Yeah, I can't think of any Is that better. a gallon of piss? <laughs> I'm like five minutes late to this conversation. Oh, that's awesome. What the fuck is that? It's... You okay, said it's a okay, gallon okay, of piss. okay, so here we go. Uh... Sorry. Okay, wait, hold on. I think I saw okay, something. Okay, wait, hold on. Fuck. I just saw. It. Hold on. I need to scroll. I'm telling you, he was probably just like a minor background character, and they throw him in just was, for the headlines. If you want to be technical? That's not a full gallon of piss. I'm really concerned as to why you're pissing in a fucking jug, but you know what? Because Minecraft is important. It, I'm drinking it. I don't okay. Know. Okay. So it doesn't say what he played in indie, but it says Oliver was a voice actor for 2020-23. Why are you making this so deep? Oliver was because it's gonna actor. line up with the door. I'm gonna terraform the Oliver land so it's even. Was a voice actor. 
the 2023 film Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and played Brian Keller on Saved by the Bell in the 1990s. But what character did he play in Indiana Jones? I don't know. It's just for the headline. What if they, like, he did play a character and they just completely cut all scenes out with the character in it? <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, I knew this was yeah. going to happen. Why, why yeah. bring that up if you can't even figure out who he was in the movie? I'm looking at the For the headline movie. to grab you into the article. It's just a deflated lie. It seems like someone wants to sell me something. You know, on Google, when you type in 2023 Indiana Jones, it pulls up the newest movie, and then it gives you the cast. And I scroll through the cast, and his name isn't here. It, it, it's just for the article to get you to click on it. What if there's a real conspiracy behind all this, man? <laughs> yeah, they cut him out. They cut out all the, scene, all the scenes. Wait, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Okay, so that's the movie name. Okay, well, when I die, I want you guys to spread all the headlines <laughs> Star Wars. You yeah, are a star actor in Star Wars. Famous star actor from Star Wars and also avid Twitch streamer, Mason Schuster. <laughs> I've been to a plane turbine. Probably shouldn't say other people's names, like cool names on the internet, but pop off. There's a million Schusters in the world. I do know that. Okay, but who? Exactly. But who? I want this shit. I'm not watching that movie again to figure this out. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Apparently, I've learned now that he was. Who was Christian Oliver Indiana Jones? That should have been the first thing you typed it doesn't in. Tell me. Okay, I'm asking Bard. Wait, his IMDb. Hold on. We might be onto something big here. <laughs> Who did Christian Oliver oh. play in Indiana Jones? I tried to oh. I think I am very funny. Ashley. Yes. So not tonight. Well, what what's the next thing you have offered? Eleven. Why? Tell me. I don't want to. They wrap this up. I have an answer. Fine. I'm off on Sundays and Mondays. Sunday night. Would you like to go kill the Ender Dragon with me? Yes! Okay, because these two fools come and give a fuck off about the dragon, so I'm done waiting, and I... Yeah, I'm done waiting. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not enough time. So... Oh my god, I would be honored. I guess we'll never know what character he plays. Okay, what Mason? <laughs> okay, this is the exact answer. Christian Oliver did not actually play a character in any of the Indiana Jones films. He's primarily known for his work as a stunt performer and stunt coordinator. And while he may have contributed to the action sequences in Indiana Jones, he isn't credited in any on-screen roles. Oh my god. Yeah. Clickbait. Awesome. Yeah, clickbait. They're like, oh, he worked on an Indiana Jones movie. Let's include him. It's not a lie. They're they're bending the truth to for you to click on their article. There's no truth. They said they couldn't. It couldn't even tell me for sure. Yeah, he worked on the movie. They said he's an actor and he's not a credited actor on the movie. I read it's a lie. He's a voice actor, so he was probably a voice actor and stunt man for some shit. <laughs> maybe maybe they dyed his beard gray when he was in full dress stunt because Harrison's fucking getting up there. But if you're gonna. Take credit for being an actor in a movie, you better be credited for it. 
but he wasn't an actor. <laughs> Maybe he has no cred, bro. Maybe he's cred -like. Yeah, he didn't get any cred, bro. Like, he, his influencer told him not to when, take the credits. You were years ago hey. when Alex like played an extra in some like movie and he oh like, shit in the movie for like half a second. For a second. We weren't gonna let him just go around saying, "Hey, I was an actor in this movie." Which Alex? That was a good movie, though. Oh, what movie what? even was it? Oh, I can't remember. It's like something summer or whatever. Dude, hey, like my, Mike, uh... I have a question. Uh, uh, yes. Hey, so I need to turn my villagers into... Oh, fuck, I don't have anything you need, if that's what you're asking. No, I'm asking you to turn it. No. I'm no. gonna need you to... <laughs> you want me to turn it to hard? Yeah, but just... Hard. But, but wait, just wait till I like lead them okay, over there. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, no, you're not taking them from my village, right? I already have them. Oh, okay, okay, as long as you already have them, I don't care. I was gonna say my 8th uh, grade science, so Mrs. Brown was my 8th grade science teacher. And I believe my class got her fired because we were just Oh, so I remember popular. hearing about this. Yeah, and she was crying in class reading the email. And then she was just gone. Oh my god, what the fuck did you guys do? <laughs> we were a really bad class. Keaton was in my class. Oh no. One time yeah, one time Keaton's phone rang in class, and uh, he got up in the middle of class, stood up. The class went silent, his phone went off. He stood up and went, My mama's calling! And uh, jumped out of, the <laughs> out of the room into the bathroom and like came back in. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I also remember hearing something about Bron doing something really stupid, like texting one of her students. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, all I know is that it always smelled like burnt waffles. Like, you know science classrooms you have the in-between room between two classrooms that would connect them? Oh, sure. she's running a secret was... meth lab like Heisenberg. It, it always smelled like burnt waffles. Alright, Mike, I'm ready when you are. Oh my gosh, so I don't right. know what she was doing, but we have Alex Potapenko as our substitute, which is very gay flamboyant, I don't know if he was gay actually, but very flamboyant man who was very just eccentric about the fact that he was a fucking extra in the Incredibles, or not the Incredibles, the Avengers. The Incredibles. Cleveland. Oh my god, <laughs> they definitely wouldn't see him in that as an extra. No, you could see him. You could see oh, him you could. One thing where like they were fighting in the street or something like that, and like fucking someone like zoomed by like flying really fast like, you couldn't even tell who they were yeah, <laughs> or i saw it after the fact and i was like oh yep there he is i'm calling you know cap what, you know what, did you do it you know what, yes it's on hard you know mode yes ashley we're gonna go we're gonna go get a an extras part in some like random bullshit indie movie all right and we're gonna put that on our on our resume for the rest of our fucking lives. Yeah, dude. We were a credited actor in this movie. Um, shoot, I gotta remember what the name of this movie. Was. It was a very, it was a very good movie, and all all of the scenes were filmed in Ohio, and it's basically about these kids who just run away and build a house in the woods. Um, kind of. <laughs> Um, Those villagers looking at me like I should save them. The one, the one kid, the one kid gets bit by a copperhead, and they drag him to the hospital, and that's how they're like, "All right, I guess it's not that bad." And they move back in with their parents. Um, oh God, it's it used to be on YouTube, and I love the movie so much, and you can't find it anywhere anymore. Because I wanted to watch it like four years ago, and I could not find it for the life of me. And that was still back when I knew what the movie was called. But, but yeah, you saw Alex. You saw Izzy in that or uh, Lizzie. Fuck what? No, it was Izzy. Vito. Yeah, Izzy. Izzy Vito. You saw her more in as an extra. You saw her in like three different scenes as an extra over Alex. Alex is back the one time. Uh, uh, he. You can you can turn it back. He the the story he told everybody was. This is how he got the extra part was originally they were going to use his house for the main character's house for filming and then they ended up choosing a different house which I think might not be true. I think he just threw that in there to make it seem his role he, was more he, important. 
<laughs> Wait, didn't he like submitted it to have it a part of it, but like got nothing from it? Yeah, yeah, so he just went to be an extra and then just used that story as like to make his extra seem a little more important. Like, yeah, they were gonna use my house, but they felt bad when they chose a different house, so they let me be in the movie. <laughs> details on that 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 was literally all of the details he had because i asked for details and that was pretty much it and i was like oh okay cool well, it was a good movie though i remember i remember everybody like in terms of like Tallulah, alex Tallulah, of deidre we're all talking about how much they like the movie and i probably have seen it but i just don't right remember back. or what it was called we watched it like a few times at your house. It, it, there's like some decently funny parts in it, mostly because of the really, mostly because of the really weird kid they had as a friend. Sorry, go on, Ashley. <laughs> Chris, oh well, you know what? How do I get brown mushrooms? Did he say he was leaving? Use Google. I have I have brown mushrooms. How many? And I don't can know. I have them all? Yeah, you can have them. I don't fucking need them. <clears throat> yeah, one, five. They're they're in different chests, so you kind of have to dig around for them. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> God, what was the movie called? That's gonna bother me now. You have to text Alex and ask. Yeah, right. You're hilarious. I'm sure he doesn't even remember. Yeah, I literally only have five mushrooms. I'm going pee. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up indie movie filmed in Ohio. See what happens. <laughs> look up what? Indie movie filmed in Ohio. See what happens. Oh. I thought you were gonna just Google indie movie, and I'm, I was like, you're gonna be searching for a while. No, no. I, oh man, it's been like a few years too. Well, that wasn't useful. Indie movie filmed in Ohio about the kids who run away and live in the woods. <laughs> kings of Summer! Bam! The Kings of Summer 2013. You can literally watch it on Apple TV, Vudu, Amazon Prime, and Google. For free? No. Boo. Put it out there. Yeah, yeah. He, he never lived down that he was an extra in that movie. In it? Yeah! Yes! He was the one kid's uh, stepfather. Or, wait. No, I'm thinking of somebody different. Uh, fucking... Who's the grumpy dude that everybody loves, that one actor? Was, was it Ron Swanson? What was his name? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he plays this, the kid's stepdad.
because he like he's the kid was taking a long shower and he knocks on the door. He's like, "You better not be jerking off in there." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good. We should watch it again, sometime. You it's have children remember. running around. I know it. I remember a lot of it. I watched that movie too many times. It's just like a, a vibe, like, oh, hey, these are kids in summertime movie that want to escape from parents. Because we were literally the same age as the actors and, like, the roles the actors were playing. At least the roles the actors were playing. Like, just teens that wanted to run away and live in the woods. <laughs> and they do. I'm watching this trailer and I'm like, fucking hell, I recognize every single one of these actors from something else I've seen. Yeah. The fucking Bobby kid was like fishing in the river or whatever. <clears throat> you know what we should do? We should be like, hey, we know a movie star and then just play the play the movie and just point out Alex's back. <laughs> be like, that's our friend, yeah. <laughs> My whole ass friend. Ah, Chris, hey. Chris, do you have any mushrooms? Uh, in Minecraft or... Yeah, Minecraft. Yeah. None of your portabellas. <laughs> you fucking goofball. Yeah, I was wondering how... The answer is yes to both. <laughs> You're hilarious. Okay. You're real, bro. How... Is there a way to, like, get a lot of them? Um, uh, you, you... So, so... You, you go on, I'll let you tell her. <laughs> you need the mushroom, right? I have the mushroom. And you bone meal it, and grow it into a giant mushroom. And then, uh, by mining it, with... If you have an axe that has fortune on it, I think it'll give you more, but if you mine it with an axe, it will then drop mushrooms from the mushroom blocks and give you more, theoretically. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just... Can't you just place one down it in a dark cave and it'll, they'll just multiply? Also that, yeah. <laughs> like, in Sardu, actually, like in the dark. You mm -hmm. place a mushroom in the dark and do it, but that takes more time. You just bone meal it. And chop it with an axe, you get more mushrooms than you place another one down. But it's just gotcha. Like, it's that way. For what it's block? What, what block do I place it on? Just on dirt. Dirt. Can't place it on dirt. A brown or red mushroom you can place on dirt. Why isn't it letting me? Where are you placing it? Like, over here by, like, the water. Let me see, can I place it on... I could. There, there, it could potentially be because of the light level. I don't think that's the case, though. So. Well, let me see it. Let me see one. Here, have one. There has to be enough room for it to grow. Are you doing it in the open area? Yeah. No, I, I don't think you could place them down. I think you have to find them and then put the bone meal. Oh, on. it has to be dark. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't. Well, it I worked when she. You can't, you can't. You can't place it in the sun. Yeah, it's not working in the sun. She is correct. What a pretty house. What my house? Yeah, because your vines are getting a little out of control, blocking the windows. <laughs> I was gonna say my uh. My mom has a friend named Linda from church. Linda from oh, church, got all of it. Cat lady, Linda. She runs a cat adoption place. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I call her crazy cat lady, but anyways. Um, apparently her husband is a fed. Uh, I, I don't know what he, fuck he does, but I've never met them actually, but every year for Christmas and they've known them for like three years. He works for the men in black. Go on. <laughs> My parents have moved from time to time, but I'm just always working and today I missed them by five minutes and I was like, oh no, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Right. But every year, like, mind you, I've never met this lady. And she gives me a fucking $50 Amazon gift card every year for Christmas. Oh, that's pretty lit. Gives me another one today. Yeah. 
like good shit, Linda. And I walked up to my friends and was like, are they rich? And they were like, no, they're not rich. And I was like, what's Michael do? Her husband and my dad's like, oh, he's a fed. And I was like, so they're rich. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know, man. Government employees don't get paid much unless they're politicians. No, I feel like agents get paid a lot. Agents and detectives. Let's see. How... <laughs> Good luck. We're looking up. <laughs> If you're being classified as a fed, I don't think you're a city. Yeah, I yeah. You as like a city. City. Yeah. City or kind of like... Investigator? I don't that know. could be it too, yeah. I don't know. But to drop... Federal agent. But to drop... $50... Brand, 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 on some... Dollars. On your friend's okay. kid. Um, that you have never met. Yeah. <laughs> so the Ohio median se uh, salary is seventy-one thousand dollars a year. But, so uh, that's, that's more than the Ohio average. Yeah. But, uh, but like they got to sell a twenty-five dollar gift card, like two T-shirts, and then <coughs> it's like a Swiss Army knife. But like when you open the knife up, they they also engraved his initials on or got his initials on it, which how weird in my mind, but. Um, also, the knife has a flashlight on it, and I joke that it's, it's so you can see who you're murdering. <laughs> uh. it, when you open the knife up, it looks like a rifle, like the, the handle is wood. That's good. when you open it up, the, like, the, the knife itself is like the barrel, and then the flashlight, the mini flashlight on it is technically the scope, which we wow. didn't realize until later. But, um, they, they got my mom a, uh top blue and like purple to green tie-dye shirt that says be kind with like a peace sign in the middle oh like, no oh, first... i was like your first tie-dye shirt mom <laughs> and she was like, when does old hippie? oh that's so funny so the old hippie got married to a fed who would have thought that's awesome i mean she runs a cat adoption center what do you expect um well of the crazy cat ladies I've met, none of them have been hotheads or hippies. Well, They're just crazy cat ladies. Well, maybe they should reevaluate their life. Coleslaw heads. You think they should smoke pot? I think everyone should smoke pot. <laughs> Why would you smoke a pot? What does that do? Like, can you cook faster with it? Yeah, actually, man. You know, as a matter of fact, you can. I don't know if you knew that or not, but. Oh, well, that's more crazy. You know. I know. God damn it. I was like, wow, in all my years of being alive, I never thought my mom would own her very own tie dye shirt. Did Moss catch on fire? It should, I believe. I don't think it does. Are you talking about Moss on stone blocks? No, or like Moss on Moss block? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, it does no. not? Okay. I have um... lava next to mine. Are you trying to burn all of it? Well, I was like, I'll use moss. I mean, one, because it's qu quick to break and, you know, whatever. But I was like, oh, wait a minute. I could just burn it all from the inside once I've created the outside of the pyramid. And no, now you're telling you me you can't do, do that. that. You would have to... better option for that would have been leaves. But you would then would have had to shear a bunch of leaves. That's too much work. Yeah. I have to go through the whole inside to do the inside yeah, part no. of it anyway. Come on, bitch. Yeah. So now I need to figure out what this one's fifty dollar Amazon car then. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What? Spend what? spend the feds money on a paraphernalia. <laughs> <laughs> About every year we like to get deuce like we shouldn't get it made that we don't know them and she's like, But I love her. They're yeah, her kids. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, the amount of cherry trees that I have to chop down. I can't find where I put my sticks. Which is low. Oh, I found all my kelp. You mean my kelp? No, this is my kelp. Hey, Ashley, where's my it. kelp? <laughs> Silence is good. Ashley. 
Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Yeah, Squidward. She must stand trial. Ashley. Hey, bud. Friend. Okay. Where the okay. fuck is my kelp? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ashley, I heard you sigh. Okay. okay. Ashley. Yes. Where is my kelp? I don't know what kelp is. What do you, what do you mean you don't know what kelp is? There's what is kelp? Mason told you to get my kelp for your farm. And all of my kelp has been missing since. Where is my kelp? Oh my god, the kelp she said she was mining is from your chest. You're the problem. We should... <laughs> Do we have to ban you? Because we were going to ban Colin. <laughs> we are going to blame Colin. Right now. <laughs> She's gathering have, it right now. Just tell me I you have, have it. I have kelp. But do you have my kelp? Well, I'm currently cutting your kelp. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you That's mean? Exactly what it sounds like. I'm cutting your kelp. Gross. Who is sleep? I got oh. demons after me, bro. Nah, man. Phantoms. They can't get you if you're in the water. Cutting kelp. They can't get you if you're naked and greased up. <laughs> Slippery. Just want to put out there, I know I had like four plus stacks of kelp. So. I took one stack. So you admit it, you thief! I took I'm one stack. Sure. Hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure when I was building your your farm, you got me a stack and I said this wasn't enough and you had to go get more. <laughs> I, go get more. I wasn't talking oh, to you, you Chris. Yeah, it was definitely yeah, her. Where's my kelp, Ashley? I'M CUTTING THE KELP! Can we all go to bed, friends? Nested in the ocean. I hear lies. Can we all I go to bed, friends? I swear to God, if Mike comes- Shh. Mike- Listen. We all need to sleep. I'm cutting kelp. Fuck my sleep. You can we kick you for five seconds and have you join back? I'll go sleep, Jesus Christ. When I post really? when I post the stream on YouTube, I'm labeling it Minecraft, but our friends a movie star. <laughs> like, like the other That's one, actually, we were on an adventure and Mason wasn't talking, <laughs> and we were trying to sleep, and we like Mason just wasn't responding to anything, so I kicked him from the world so we can sleep, and he came back to the world two seconds later and just immediately kicked me and went, my head dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, I played Minecraft for like a solid 20 minutes with just no sound. Like, what would have been nice to know? Uh, well, I didn't think of it. Cutting kelp. She is cutting the kelp. I will grab you four stacks of kelp, but it's going to take me a minute. We make kelp sticks in this, in this game. Uh, what a classic. I got a pop of Melly. Excuse me? Being addicted, man. A toning, bro. I'll be up in seven hours. Ew. Ew, you gotta work. To this job, sadly. <laughs> Call off. Oh, wait, what if I. I really could, you know, but. Go on. Doll hairs. Uh, nothing like. Nothing like popping. Or, uh, nothing like down on a melaton. Ah, wash it down with your beer. <laughs> Well, there's nothing on the container that says no mix. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. The brand's called Nature's Bounty. It's natural. Here it is. I googled it. It's fine. It says they what? won't just make you drowsy. So combining would just make you double drowsy. Whoa. Genius. You found Maybe. a speed speed run melatonin hack. Alcohol yeah. never makes me drowsy. It does the exact opposite. It depends uh, on what I did for the day. Uh, yeah, it depends on how my day was. Like right now, I am ready to go to bed. Like, I can't tell you how many scenarios, like, in high school and shit, where I would, like, I would drink, everybody would go to bed, like, I would be drunk, and then three hours later, I wake up, and I'm, like, not at all tired, and I just sit there for hours. <laughs> See, the, the coleslaw is what gets me wired, regardless of the strain. I used to, okay, I used to get some coleslaw, oh my god, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> what? <Skeletons>. Wow. <laughs> Bro, switch over real quick. Because he, he almost knocked me into the fucking lava I'm in the, while I'm in the nether. Skill Have you issue. told him that you don't like that? Probably told okay. Him that. okay. Okay. What the fuck was I even talking about? Drinking. Oh, how, how sleepy coleslaw and drinking Oh, is. oh, yeah. Uh, so I used to get some coleslaw that would actually make me, like, tired and, like, actually fall asleep. Coleslaw? This shit? Yeah, yeah, coleslaw. Just, just coleslaw. Um, <laughs> the stuff I've been getting is doing, like, the opposite. Oh, wow. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> is, it, is, it is it a mixed coleslaw or is it a uppity coleslaw or a indica coleslaw? It's an, it's an independent <laughs> coleslaw. <laughs> What does that mean, Indica? I think it's that not stuff's a, a myth. It's coleslaw, it's an independent one. Okay, but is it on the upper scale of the coleslaw or the lower scale? As an in the, in the coleslaw or sat in the coleslaw? <laughs> Definitely. It's, it's an intermediate one. So a hybrid of the coleslaw. Or... No. Hybrid slaw. Well, you just said medium, so that would mean hybrid. I've been giving you words that start with I and D. You're in D? Oh my lord, in the cup. Gross. And the who? Who are you? Get out into? of there, we're like playing Minecraft, man. Who are you into now, Mason? Not the fuck you, Mason, up. you're into someone? No, oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh Mason, I'm proud of you. Look at listen, you. Listen, listen. Mason What's his name? Between the four of us, What's his name? <laughs> Uh, uh, that's a good joke. I haven't heard that one since middle school. Mason, Mason, I got it. I got it. You can go to the bar to pick up chicks and be like, my friend's a movie star. <laughs> my friend's a what? You cut out. A movie star. <laughs> oh, man. You go be an extra in the movie and put it on a dating profile. <laughs> right. Yeah, was movie was in Kings of Summer. <laughs> oh my god, you were a movie star? There was one of the Fast and Furious movies being filmed in Cleveland, and I was like, I would, like, I, I would actually try to figure out how to be an extra, and then just to be like, dude, I was in this movie, and, like, I could not figure it out. Damn. Filming Cleveland is the question. I never understood that. A Cleveland. lot of places film in Cleveland. Yeah, it's, it's like, kind of New York. I... Yeah. It's I was what? I'm gonna try and argue with you on that, but yeah. It's what? Yeah, there's like a lot of places that look like New Just York count. buildings. Oh, okay. You change the background. Gotcha. I was really gonna oh. try and argue with you on that, but yeah, no, you're right. Fucking god damn it. Why does this happen to me? I hate the nether. Another like this big shit. Big dumb. I can't get any lava without being fucking assaulted. Well, maybe you should try pepper. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> oh man. You got yokes. That was so delayed, Mike. You got yokes, kid. Oh, these chips are so good. So you, I'm going to say what kind of chips these are, and you're going to be like, but Chris, those aren't vegan, and I'm going to tell you I don't give a fuck. Well, you're not vegan. Chips. We've already established this. You're only vegan in title. Um. <laughs> I'm calling. I'm calling the vegan police. It's yeah, like you're vegan. A but you're selectively vegan. Yeah, it's like 90% yeah, of the time. What these right, fucking look, baked... What kind of chips are you eating? Oh, baked ruffles, fucking cheddar and sour cream. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the vegan police. They're gonna revoke your vegan powers. Yeah, and I'll tell, them call, I'll, I'll tell them to call PETA people eat tasty animals. Let's see what the fuck they think about that. Dang. But here's the real question, Chris. Are you bringing home the bacon? <laughs> I'm bringing home something, and I think it's depression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And alcoholism. <laughs> Oh, it shouldn't be that funny, but god damn. <laughs> <Send help. laughs> You're fine. Struggle. That'll be fine. Do you think if Kevin would have asked for help, do you think we would have, like, no. We tried. Listen, then. He did ask for help, bro. He did ask for help, him. and we did, and then and we was... helped him, and yeah. That's not something I want to talk about on stream. No. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's just, we could go on for days about that, and there's no end to the point in blank that he, if he wanted to help, he genuinely would have. Let's just, let's just end it and put it at this. He went to rehab four times. Yeah. He didn't know more than that. At that point, that's a personal choice. Some kid's gonna come across this Minecraft video and be like, what's rehab? <laughs> well, it's when you stick a needle in your arm. Sorry. Uh... Relax. <laughs> I, I think they're one the same oh, for a lot of people. No. Oh my We're god. Okay, okay. Top of change. Top of change. Switch lanes. <laughs> Switching sides. Are you fucking Valorant? That's not even Valorant. What game says that? Call of Duty. Yeah, no, in between switch and destroy rounds. Duty. No. Wait, Valorant does say that. Switching sides. Wait, what game says what? Switching sides. Switching sides. Is that a voice? I don't know if it's. Hard. That's definitely Valorant. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go sides. play some Valorant to check. Bye. Okay, it's a female announcer. I miss. Can we all play Valorant one of these days again? Yes. Only if I can cheat. Fine, do what you. I don't how, care. How are, you, how are you gonna cheat? What? I have no idea. I have no idea how to fucking cheat in a online service game. Figure it out. You figure it out. You have to pay somebody to send you the program. Just yeah, no thanks. Well. I only do action well. replay codes. <laughs> I saw a fucking, uh, that makes me think of today, before I woke up, I saw, like, a fucking video on Facebook that was, the Pokemon moves were legit, and it was, like, Geodude using Rock Slide as one of the clips, and he put a rock down an actual slide in the bathroom. You know? God fucking <laughs> damn it. Someone. That was another one that was, like, Heart Steel, and it literally swapped the hearts of the Pokemon, and then the one oh. died in that Blah 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 died of cardiac arrest. Rest. <laughs> heart failure. Uh, dark. I was gonna save and send it, but I, I just woke him up, so I. Yeah. We take.
taking a nap. We can nap. Like Chris, enough. Mow. Fucker has puked every night for the past three nights in a row. He's what? He he he's got behavioral issues, and what he does is I I put out food before I go to bed, and like as soon as I lie down and like start falling asleep, he eats too much too fast and then throws it up. And he loves throwing up on the carpet. Yeah. So now I have to tell him to stop eating because otherwise he'll throw up. <laughs> Cats. And yes, he listens to me. He understands words. You should get him the buttons. That's yeah, right. get your cat the buttons. Oh, you, you just want food the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you got food. 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 More. Food. More. Food. More. 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 Bitch. 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 <laughs> More. Food. <laughs> Bitch. Food. Wake up. Food. Food. Feed me. Food. 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 Hello. Feed me. Hello. Just, Hello. Like those buttons tweak me out because I, I remember seeing one time there was a dog. It was that, a yeah. that like, became self-aware of itself that it was a dog and it just kept asking. It was. It would look at itself in the mirror and go, why? Dog. Why? Dog. Yeah. It's yeah, so creepy. fucking creepy. But like, the ones that put the bitch button on their... Yeah. <laughs> ...and in just... Outside. Now. Bitch. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that dog is, is depressed. Poor thing. Yeah. It is cool though that they could learn that, which Why? proves that they're capable of like intelligent well, communication. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's you know, ab I mean, for a dog to ask why it's a dog is kind of fucking freaky. Yeah. Yeah. Why dog? Yeah, dog. Yeah, imagine dog. if you start yeah, teaching. Dog. Imagine you start teaching the dog religion. <laughs> God, bro, I fucking, some, some dude, I met this dude at, uh, Middleburg Heights, like, when I was doing fireworks a couple of years ago, at the Middleburg Heights, uh, fairgrounds, while well, I was walking around, and he was, like, running one of the, like, uh, machines or whatnot, but I found out he was into, like, flow arts and shit, so we talking at him on Facebook. I haven't seen the dude since, but bro, like, posts the most outlandish shit, and, like, mm. Bro, I was going on a tangent yesterday about fucking the Bible and the whole nine yards and how he feels lied to by the Bible, and I was like, I don't know. If you interpret it that way, then yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I started to comment something, and then by the time I got finished typing my comments, there was already 13 comments between him and another guy, and I was like, nope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good, move. Into it. good move. Good like, move. Nope. Nope. My favorite is like when you like unintentionally piss somebody off and you just reply with once they're mad you just go, Hey, hey, Jesus loves you. <laughs> you did something similar like that once. Yeah, but yours you your died. your comment was directed towards religion itself, actually, and I was like, bro. What? Context. Nothing, don't worry about it. No. Uh, what he's referring to isn't what I'm referring to. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about then. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you when you're not streaming. What are you talking about? You gotta tell me when I'm older. No, I fucking hate when people say that. No, I'll <laughs> tell you after you stream. Probably won't say that to people. You'll understand when you're older. <laughs> how, how did that happen? What do you see when a mommy and a daddy? No, I have fucking <laughs> life I have uh, fucking finds a way. In my in my thing. God, you're already fucking on fire. 
<laughs> you, you see like the uh, AI generated villager music remixes. <laughs> it's like a song, but all instead of having lyrics, it's just the villager noises uh, changed in the tone to go with the music. The most popular one right now is fucking Slim Shady's uh, Stan, and it's just a villager. <laughs> I could. Just, I just imagine some like nerdy twelve-year-old kid doing them, and I'm just. Oof. <laughs> They're pretty funny. Bro, I have not nearly enough fucking cherry wood to do what I want to do. I've been mining trees for like two hours. Bro, I mined trees for four days before I got all my shit together. Cherry wood takes so long. It's like ten blocks of cherry wood per tree. I have a full stack of leaves, full chest of leaves, cherry leaves, and I have a less than one row of wood. Yep. And some of this I need to make into the wood that's like fully barked up. <laughs> Straight barked up on a Tuesday wood. night. I mean, I guess I can make a hollow. I could save a lot of time and energy, but. Nah, you just gotta commit. You know what? This pyramid needs to be bigger. <laughs> See, Mace has got the right idea. You can't ruin the 69 by 69. I know, I'm kidding. I am going to dig out the floor so it's taller inside. Interesting. Yeah, okay, so I'm like... This tree just isn't growing. This mushroom tree, not growing. Did you put bone meal on it? Is there room for I it to grow? One. Yes! Like you cleared the leaves out and everything? So that way it can grow up. Oh, oh, there it goes, it has to be on dirt. I, I, told I thought you. it was on dirt. Sorry, I have... I fucking... In one ear, out the other. Alright, so I have... So you said I need a... Uh, I'm really bad. Like, I know it. What the fuck are you having here? Oh well, you did just drink a giant thing of Powerade. Oh my god, that's right. Oh my god. What she li she literally has a, a 44 ounce cup of, of Powerade. <laughs> A little late for that. Well, you, he doesn't. Too late. Her? Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is gonna be a fucking project, oh my lord. Yep, like I said, I spent four days straight just mining trees. And before that, I spent like a week straight digging out the quarry with fucking stone axes because I'm a psychopath. What should I put inside the tree? I just have to be like a redwood esque. Alright, you said I need a pick at, uh, an axe. Chris? What? I need a. Oops. I need an axe for this tree. The mushroom tree. Well, it is a tree, so. An axe would be preferable. Does it have to be, um. Does it have to have silk touch? No, if you have silk touch, you'll just get the block back. Yeah, I thought you wanted to be in no self touch. So just a regular. Uh, yeah, because it'll, it'll, it'll drop regular stuff. mushrooms. Huh. Hey, buddy. I can do that. Everyone 
near a bed. It's not even nighttime. I, it, the sun's going down. The grand doesn't stop till the sun is down. That's wild. If you want to make the cherry wood that's like, it shows no log, on, not strip, but the other one that shows no log, like bark on all sides. It's a two by two of the wood for any type of wood, but it only gives you three back, so you lose one wood per. That's the price for aesthetic. Your aesthetic. Thanks. You're my favorite aesthetic, Mike. I am in bed. I am currently mining coal, so you're gonna have to give me a second. You're gonna have to give me a memento. Un fucking believable. So How are you. Dare you. I get mended on my axe. I was really trying not to mention mending with Colin last night, but I did. <laughs> I also don't think he knew what mending meant, so. <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh, we thought I was talking about men. Ding. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm going to the bed. Ah, creeper! Bastard. Why is it different? Why does it look different? I can sleep momentarily. Sleeping. I'm on my way. Get out of my bed, you little shit. Go and be. Secret tunnel! Yes, there was a... <clears throat> a chatbot that put in, like, trying to sell me, like... What does he even say? Promote your, of your channel for viewers, followers, views, chatbots, etc. Like, for one, I don't want fucking chatbots. I'd rather stream to nobody than have fucking bots all up in there. But every time one of those messages pop up, I'm just gonna go... I feel like someone wants to sell me something. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Like, dude's probably got a program that just goes into people's streams and just copies and pastes a message. Probably about 50% done with my projects. I 
started with seven. I have 37. It's like the perfect like uh, shape for it too. There it's you go. Rin yeah. Rinse and repeat. That's what I'm doing. Rinsing and repeating. Villager, you son of a bitch. You're blocking my button. Fuck you. Then I just gotta do some slight terraforming, and the cutout for the path will be finished. Jesus, dude. Huh. There's so much wood, I wanna mine it all. Dang, that's crazy. Ah, so much bone meal. I need to make a bigger bone meal for him. I need to fucking... You need a spawner. I have one, it's just far away. I could just come to yours and milk it for a while. Honestly. I could sit there. No, I could sit there. I have loot in my sword, so I could just empty the chest below it. And then just take whatever it drops. How's my bone meal farm doing? I think I've been in the area. I have... 24 bone meal. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough, at least. Oh, oh, wait, you need bone meal? I, I, I... <laughs> what did you think we were talking about the whole time? It just... No, 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 no I know, but it, it it just, like, clicked. I can bring you some. I, I can... I can... <laughs> well, uh, well, well, let me tell you this right now, bud. Uh, I'm going up the fucking... Uh, I'm, I'm not paying for that shit, so I will go in your spawn and remind it myself. I can just I, give it I, to you. I do. Uh, just let me come over there and eat some bones from you, alright? So I want to bring my under chest and some a shit okay. ton. I will clear out the bottom for you then. Clear out my under boy. About that war than actually. How, how about that what? How about the Mets? War than. Hey Chris, have you fuck off? <laughs> I fuck her on find out round two. Chris. <laughs> hey, you wanna go play fuck around? I'll play fuck around, find out. If you wanna play fuck around, find out. I'll bring my bow. We can take oh. turns. Bro has 125,000 hearts. I'm good. <laughs> Where is my horse? My horse was connected to a lead on a post, and my horse is now gone. Where is my horse? That's horrible. Bro, not again. Fuck. Why? Can't take it. Every time. Make sure it didn't die. Did you look at the? I thought it was here earlier. Well, I mean, I've been in this area for a long time, so I don't know. It's gonna be very tragic though if he died. He didn't die. It's not in the thing that he died. Yeah, I mean, earlier I was hitting some fucking um, the, some mobs near my snippers where the horse was at, but I don't. Clearly, I didn't hit him because it would have said something. Or if he's just roaming the ocean on his own. He's on his own adventure. Cause the, the dead horse that was attached is still here. God damn it. Fuck these horses, bro. My mom went to prison with someone who fucked a horse, and that's why she was in prison. Oh. Oh? Yeah. Yeah, I think about this lady a lot. <laughs> Probably more than I should, but I'm just a little interested, you know? 
Oh, oh my god, you're banned. <laughs> How does that fit? Like, I just want to know what their fuck, what, she, what her thought process was. Like, what made you think that was a good idea? How does that even work? How about we talk about something else, please? I'll fuck your horse up. <laughs> I probably should have said that slower. You know, I'm gonna call my mom on the way to work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna ask her. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I can't say that either. Where's my horse? You know, yes, I can, because I've seen other people talk about this. Why, Mason? Can we talk about cannibalism? Yes, that's, I don't know how, but somehow talking about people eating people is more appropriate than people fucking horses. <laughs> so, my mom also went to prison with someone who ate their unalived her husband and ate him. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, that's all I know about it. She won't tell me more. She didn't really talk to her. She stayed away from her. <laughs> As one should. If my mother is scared of anything, it's cannibal. <laughs> God damn it. My horse, what the fuck? Bruh. Bro's around somewhere, I know he is. See, I put it one block up thinking it would keep the villagers out, and it didn't. Oh, fuck me. I was probably me. just right. wandering the island all on his lonesome, scared. He's a horse. If he was scared, he would have stayed in the same place. He was tied to a lead, so I don't know how. Horses are fucking broken in this game. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello, my friend. You wander in the jungle. I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer at the beginning of this before it <laughs> loads up on YouTube saying, like, though we are playing Minecraft, we are adults and talk about <laughs> some adult themes and topics. Are we doing a sleep? Another circle for him. Doing a who? Oh. Give me a second. Early. We just have to get this chest. Your horse is still at the outpost. I know. I'm scared to take it back. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave him there for a minute. Why don't we just let him loose in the island, man? <laughs> oh, I'm just So you can put enchanted books in an empty bookcase and pull them out. Yeah. Yes, but it doesn't tell you per se what enchanted book is where and I'm not really concerned about where they are. I don't think it pulls it out in like a specific order. I don't, it's fine. I don't care that much about so the specifics. It's just to put them somewhere besides a chest. Oh. I 
Oh, this is gonna take fucking forever. Don't wanna go to poor life in the morning. And don't just be like, y'all motherfuckers suck, I'm sick, and then go <laughs> hang up. <laughs> Because every time I call off, I have to fucking hear about it days later. That sounds like a them problem. It really do be, but almost well. Dollars. Doll hairs. Oh, to make this process what? easier, I can more? destroy the chests that are empty. Let me see if I need more. Brewing stand. Let Thank me put my bottle here. Thanks, Colin, for narrating. No, I'm just not understanding. <laughs> understand, not understand silently. <laughs> no, okay, 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 okay. You put the blaze powder in the blaze powder slot. You put you put your spider eye in the spider eye thing. You put the lime now, the in the coconut and you shake it all up. You put the, the lime in the coconut. You put the lime in the coconut. You like that? Mason puts the lime in the coconut and shakes it all up. You ever know the planet of the grapes? <laughs> Glass bottles, right? There's like no other bottle. Hey, how did you put the item? How did you put the item frames in front of your chest? Can you just place them, or do you have to place a block behind it and then build the chest? You hold shift, Mike. Oh, well, I mean, I'm on controller right now. You crouch. Oh, okay. Cool. That is good to know. Dear Christ. That is good to know. I'm going to need more cows. Oh, feel the tone. It's kicking in, man. The who? Getting oh, fucking high, man. Getting high, man. Melatonin hey, Chris. Are you down here with me? No. Oh. What's up? To make the potion of oh. weakness. Yeah. I put the blaze powder in it and it's the fermented spider eye first, right? You put the lime mm -hmm. in the coconut. The blaze powder goes in the fuel source spot on the left. Right. Yeah, it's in there. And you just put from Memphis by Ryan with three water bottles. I mean, you could do less than three, but... Water bottle! It has to have water! Oh, wow. What did you think? It was an empty bottle? Yes! You put the lime in the coconut. And rice. <laughs> God I'm gonna apply for the clerk of council for city of Never. Cause you imagine you get the job just completely unqualified. It's like, so uh, we need more soup. That's what we need in this town, more soups. So we, see, we see you've been arrested in our city before. <laughs> You'd be like, you're right, there wasn't enough soup. Dumb. <clears throat> I always see these jobs that are like, where was it? Um, back a page, back a page. It's like, what is it? Fuck that job. Yeah, professional house cleaner. No weekends, no nights. It says base is 16, up to a thousand a week based on incentives. But there are 10 hour days. 
I can't imagine hiring a maid service and like it'd be like three Mexican women and Chris showing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just like I see that and I'm like, oh, cleaning houses that can't be that bad. But then I some also of the think people's about houses. The, yeah, I think about the atrocities of some people's houses and how they live. No, usually the people that pay for maid services, their houses are very clean, but if you miss a spot, you're gonna fucking hear about it. Not not always. Some people pay maid services to clean up their hoarding messes. That too. My mom yeah. pays for a maid after she fucked her arm up. And uh, my mom bitches about every little thing they miss. At that point, your mom should just make a list of what she wants clean. Well, they don't speak English, so that doesn't work out too well. I was going to say, at that point, your mom should just wipe it up the one spot that was left behind. <laughs> but guys, but guys, weekly pay, major holidays off, no nights and weekends, weekly pay, long-term job security, snack bar, and water provided. Weekly one pay. Pizza, pizza day monthly. Raffle or lottery for cash weekly. Oh, pizza Drive day. Company cars. You must be pet friendly. Well, those pets must be friendly. How about that? <laughs> You could also pick up Hispanic chicks by saying, my friend's a movie star. That's that that was the joke. Hey, vato, vato, wanna go get taco taco. Hey, that's easy there. Up. Yeah. I was gonna say, and right there, you're fired. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, Twitch. No, you could just be like, I, my friend's a movie star, and they'll go, okay. <laughs> Bookkeeper for 30 an hour? Do I just need to keep books? Do I need to have a degree? There's nothing about a degree. Like 90 degrees Fahrenheit? Strong. Knowledge of accounting principles, financial statements, and accounting systems. Next. I want an accounting degree. So watch books. Oh, I can be a special agent for the. No, 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 no. A bookkeeper isn't literally working with books. Oh, Guys. bookkeeper, like keeping records. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Is hiring for a special agent for the FBI. There you go. <laughs> just burst into the FBI interview, like like in the WKUK skit. <laughs> it was like we want we want a chopper and parachutes, and we're gonna parachute out with these gene guns and be like, Doo -doo -doo -doo, and the bad guys are gonna be all like, ah. <laughs> Jesus, you work a minimum of fifty hours a week, which may include your regularly schedule, and be on call twenty four seven. Be willing to participate in arrests, execute warrants, raids, and similar assignments. There you go. Yeah, I want to bust in through the El Chapo's palace with machine guns and give me like 10 extra guys and have them all be ninjas, especially trained ninjas. And then we're going to get all the bad guys with their shurikens like, pew, 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 pew. And they're all going to be like, ugh, ugh, there's so many holes in me from these shurikens. <laughs> I came in blasted. And then we arrest El Chapo and then Mexico is saved. Weekend morning and it's gonna be awesome. Child, weekend morning child church care job. You wanna work in a church? Church child care. <laughs> did you did you see oh, the you wanna work with religious parents and children? Did you see the one where the dude's on? Uh... If I had that job, I would just slowly teach them that my 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 beliefs of things and teach them that Jesus <laughs> The way you look alone, it, it, they would not hire you. Yeah, probably not. 
Hey man, I'd put my hair in a bun. I would be a well-respected individual of society. But also mm -hmm. look at your arrest record and be like, fuck no. No, no, no. You see, then you, you, you tell them on the background check. You, you say that was before I found Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> hey, if you want to impose your belief on children at a young age, just go be an elementary school teacher. I have to go to another. To be a tree climber, bro. Five thousand dollars sign on bonus. Oh, I remember Walter did that. That that's like a pretty dangerous job. What? what is I would it? assume climbing trees is a pretty dangerous. Oh place. yes. Are we not sleeping this night? Oh, we can't. Uh, I'm going into the nether. So. Uh, I can't. I'm felt skeleton farming. Oh okay. Crazy. Oh, if you go at the top, there's uh. Well, I would lose all my skeletons then. You're fine. Okay. I'm going to Oh, I forgot I had a carpet. Whoops. You get some wheat. You get some wheat. You get some wheat. Ashley, you really got. Oh, there's a bed here in this chest. I can sleep. Are we sleeping? <sighs> Man, I guess there are monsters nearby. <laughs> yeah, put the bed by the spawner. I didn't need to kill them. I can't. Are we doing this or what? I need to kill all these skellies before I can. That's fine, I'm feeding cows. Unbelievable. What do you mean? There are monsters nearby. Does Spencer ever, ever actually end, you know, sell the stuff he's posting on Facebook? I don't know. It's, it's I mean, need to ask him. I was expecting. I, I was been meaning to ask him how business is versus the sales too. Well, I, <laughs> when I see like he, he has like a Star Wars Xbox 360 for 180 dollars, I'm like, do people pay this? <laughs> I mean, he's still open, so he must be doing something right. Dude, I uh, he 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 was texting about a kid who came in to trade in for store credit, but the kid didn't have any money. He was trying to trade in an airsoft Glock. <laughs> he sent me a picture of the airsoft clock. He's like, is this worth? Yeah, and he was like, is this worth anything? And I said, no, no, brand new. They're like 80 to 90 bucks. So used probably like 25. <laughs> I was like, plus I, I just wouldn't even take it in because you had to test if it works and everything. Yeah, wait, why would he take a trade in on something that like isn't even video game related? I don't know. I think he had the intentions of selling it elsewhere. What kid walks into a mall with an airsoft, airsoft Glock? Yeah, that's that's a little sketch too. I was like, what that's the fuck? Just, um, problematic. <laughs> Probably had it in a backpack. <laughs> Could you imagine going into the store? You're like, I'm here to do trading. All right, let's see what you got. You pull the backpack out and start pulling out a gun. Whoa, 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 whoa! Easy there. <laughs> for, nine, for ninety dollars an hour, I can be a vibrating plow operator. Vibrating plow. What's that? No experience oh, needed. What is a vibrating plow? Running a vibrator. So job summary: running a vibrating plow to bury phone lines. What is happening right now? Valid driver's license must fund back contract notes. Oh my god. What is happening right now? My textures are so glitched. Look at the stream. <laughs> what is happening? Just be a stripper. Yeah, come on, Chris. Should I that sooner? I could be a police officer for Northfield. I doubt you would pass. 
You, oh, you have to go to police academy. <laughs> get out of fucking ground. Hey man, I pulled you over because you were speeding. I pulled you over for being sick as fuck. I just wanted to tell you I liked your car. Yeah. Sick ride, Have you ever man. Been to the ledges, man. <laughs> Could you imagine a cop saying that shit to you? <laughs> Pulls you over. You ever been oh, to the ledges? A refrigerator technician. That sounds pretty chill. That looks like an absolute nightmare. What's in it for you? Schedule third shift. Nope. <laughs> How, why would they list that as a benefit? <laughs> uh, bullet points. What's in it for you? Third shift, 5.30 to 6 a.m. Hey. Jesus Christ. That's like a more than 12-hour day. To repair oh, a refrigerator? Man. That's probably commercial refrigerators like for gas stations. Uh, oh, yeah, Nestle, yeah. Nestle Operational Services. Yeah. Oh, it's even worse. It's for like a warehouse, probably. Fuck that. Man, I'm gonna just go drive a truck for Red Bull. You can become a Red Bull girl. I can see what it. the fuck is a Red Bull? Red. What? They're like these. They're these girls that the company pays to just drive around and hand out free Red Bulls. Show us the skate park quite often in Royalton. Skate parks, fucking uh, ski resorts, all that fun stuff. Mm. Uh -huh. It's pretty convenient too when like they are around and you, you and like a couple friends are the only people there and they're like, we haven't seen anybody all day, so here's just like 15 Red Bulls for each of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, fuck yeah, free Red Bull. I could go work for weed, man. Whoa. <laughs> Talk about that landscaping service, right? Yeah. Door the door, canvasser, no selling required. That's what Mikey did, and he had to travel. Well, that's what door the door means, yes. No. Door the door, what? He had to, like, go far. He had to like, go to fucking, like, Columbus and, uh. Yeah, but knowing your brother, he probably worked for some shitty no-name company. Wait, what job is this? Man. The company is literally called Weed Man. It's a landscaping business. But door-to-door -door what? Canvasser. That's Ew. what it was called. I fucking hate looking for jobs, bro. All of it just looks like... Dog shit. Oh, that's the world. I think the interviews are worse than looking for the derb. Yeah. So where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> Brew Hopefully. pub openings, Great Lakes Brewing Co. Listen, man, I got a fucking charge with sign me up. <laughs> Does it say you could be Peter my Griffin? Lord. My lawyer's been coming into my job more recently, and bro just doesn't acknowledge the fact that you blew me off like twice. About my shit. You should take his you gerb. You don't like that. Tell him that wasn't very cash money. He asked me what's yeah. been going on, and I told him I've been looking for a new job, and he went, Yeah, like you've been looking for a new job in the past, right? And I went, Fuck you. Wait, he said that shit? Yeah, I was what like, bro, fuck? fuck you, you're a piece of shit, dude. Go, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yo, uh, U.S. Ghost Adventures Ghost Tour Guide in Cleveland, Ohio. What? Send me a link. <laughs> I'll do that part-time. You would time. get bored so fast. Nah, man, I get to lead 
stupid people around talk about spirits. Right. Easy. What's the, what, what, what's the first thing you said? Stupid people, right? Yeah, but it's what's easier. The first thing you said? It's it's easier to talk oh, to stupid uh, people about ghosts than it is to talk to stupid people about gas. Here, here's here's how they turn you down real quick. Most tours operate year round seven days a week. Uh, but then they say we ask for two to three days or nights a week. You're not gonna have a good time. I don't know why you think you will. What are you talking about? You'd be like, so this is where the spirit like axe murdered somebody or something. And then you go on. about the paranormal, but have never been a tour guide? No problem. This is a fun, flexible, part-time job for anyone who loves to tell stories and can hold a captive audience. GG, easy. I don't know, Mike, can you hold a captive audience? I don't know, man. I got one viewer on this stream, so we're doing pretty good. Damn, man. <laughs> No, but like if you you've all heard me talk about ghosts with people before, it, it I'm it's super easy for me to do that shit. Can you break down? Can you break down armor to get the materials back? No. No. Uh, uh yes. How? What's in here, you little shit? How? <laughs> you put it in a blast furnace, but it doesn't give you. Oh yeah, I remember. Any of the material back, it gives you a single ingot per armor you put in, which an ingot is the, like one ninth of the armor piece. So, good luck with that. I don't want. I don't want armor. I want. Yeah, well, that's what stuff. you would. That's what you would get. So. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's what I want. I'm coming to take the gold armor. Hi, horse. You're still here. I must need a lot. Costco, Costco fucking pays bank. You're fucking shit. It works you fucking hard though. Yeah. Chris is a good worker. That's so fucking ignorant. I'm just saying, you can be working hard. Who the fuck are you even good to you? So. Hey, Chris, Chris, send me that paranormal link. <laughs> uh, it's part time. You don't want that. No, I do want that because then I could do gecko part time and do that. <laughs> like, you're gonna be like me working two part time jobs with living in that apartment. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I'm sure it pays a bit more. Uh, well, yeah, wages have definitely gone up. <laughs> Actually, you need more shots. There's too many normal bows in the gallery. The fuck, bro? Don't go down there. Well, I already did, and now your chests are all full. Use the shitty bows with the arrows. Why would I use those bows? You don't waste your. That one cow is just on a different plane of existence, man. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. Ugh. Go to bed. How did a villager get out here? Oh, that was mine. I found him wandering around and I was like. And I trapped him in a chest, uh, in a tree. Oh, he's gone. He's out now. I know, you can stay there. I saved him. Why am I picking up more bows? What the fuck? I accidentally fucking dropped them. Well, you're really trusted, Paul, so they're going in there. Just full of bone meal. And I don't have my slip. No, this is my slip touch pick. Okay. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye. In this place.
Oh, the building outside another portal. <laughs> you talking to me? Whoever, I don't know, who's building something outside another portal area. Oh, I'm, I'm digging a path to it, and then I'm gonna p put it in like a temple or something at the end of the path. You're gonna put it in a temple? Yeah. Why wouldn't you just make a cool design with it? Well, it's gonna have a cool design, but it's gonna be in a temple, so that way you're safe from mobs when you come out of it at nighttime. Okay. It's first grade SpongeBob. Just move. Can I make it? Yeah, you can make it. I'll make it nice. Just oh, make it like, you. you know, dark and despairing, like the castle. You, uh, nice, huh? You're making the path. What are you Give me doing? Some leg room. Oh, you're staring out the fucking door. Oh, I was. I was waiting for my ship to heal. I need to get more lava. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no boat. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's the button to get back inside? It's there. Just keep looking. Mm. Where? There is no button on any of these doors. What do you mean? Oh, the gas might have shot it off. Yeah, it's probably gone. There Black. used to be a button. Um, can you break that open? It's, it's open right now. So many cows. Why are you doing this? Stop it. Those extra blocks. You look stupid now. You look stupid. Oh, the door's open. What the fuck? That's tragic. Who? Hey, I didn't say I'm leaving just yet. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Salt and vinny chips, fuck yeah.
you imagine you go to a paranormal tour and it's just me, except all I'm doing is pointing at an object or a room and going, Oh, ghost. Spooky. <laughs> oh, ghost. Oh, ghost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ghost. Imagine you waving your hand around in people's faces. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Ooh. <laughs> this is circling back to the church thing because I forgot about it. But did you guys see the video of the one dude who's like a church DJ or whatever? And for all of the prayers, he just puts on the Halo th uh, 3 theme music. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to do this until they notice. <laughs> I'm sure there was some kid or some dude like cracking up. <laughs> yeah. I was just never sings in church and joins in full hymns at that point. I would literally just start going, oh. The person next to me, like some old lady, is going to be like, oh, you know this song? <laughs> My favorite, as a matter of fact. Yes. In Master Chief, we trust. <laughs> Jesus taught me this song years ago. It's a banger. <laughs> it's a banger. Wait until the guitar riff kicks in. <laughs> Even though that was technically so Halo 2. Yeah, that cow's on a different plane of existence for sure. Crazy man. The skin's all bugging out. It's just like a bunch of textures and rainbows, like shooting all the way to the sky. Does anybody want a bunch of moss? Yes. Yeah. I said I it first. It. Oh, never mind. You can have it. You, you, you have to get it off the roof of the pyramid, though. Oh no, no, yeah. that sounds like a lot of work. You can have it. <laughs> I'm currently, I'm currently locked in. Uh, give me just one second. I'll be there. I'm just breeding my cows. Oh, that's what I was doing. I need, I need uh, leather for like over 300 item frames. Why do you need so much leather? I have to go. So. Good night. Have fun at have fun at at poor life tomorrow. Fucking kill myself. I have a fucking three hundred million. Yeah, real quick. So like you know, Ray and energy drinks, right? Yeah. You know the white gummy bear flavor. Mm-hmm. When my brother came and visited me to at work, I was like, yo, can you pick me one of those up on your way home from the gas station so I don't have to stop at work tomorrow or on my way to work? And he said, yeah, whatever, cool. All right. So I got home tonight and my parents had company over and my brother still wasn't home and I was surprised he still wasn't home because I was like three hours later. And then I told my mom he was picking me up. A, I was like, yeah, he's grabbing me a white gummy bear. Or some, I said something along the lines, but I didn't say more than white gummy bear. I just said that. And my mom looked at me with such, like, what? <laughs> God. Good mom. It's not weed, I promise. It's an energy drink. Fucking drink, dude. Smell of fucking edible, Jesus Christ. The reason I need so many item frames is I literally have over 300 double chests in my storage room. I have a bunch of leather. As in the, I mean, like three stacks, so probably not for sale, actually, now that I think about it. Fine. See if I care. But see if I care. Good. Good. I 
I want my fucking frame to drop from how many towers. That's gonna yeah. take a while. I had some I like to not... everyone told me to fix it. So you moved it in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, so everyone was like complaining about how they're losing frames. I wasn't complaining, brother. The column was. Well, that sucks for having a shitty GPU. <laughs> oh, he's got. <laughs> he's got ray tracing on. <laughs> yeah, but bro still drops frames while I don't, so. <clears throat> if you're not running the ray trace, bro. Mm -hmm. It's not on our level, man. This is because you bought a 165 hertz monitor, not knowing that this graphics card could, like, yes, it can handle it. E equalize with it. I mean, I'm sure it can, but you bought it not knowing that they could. He probably has all of his games set on limited frames, also, <laughs> or hertz. <laughs> Bro didn't have, he says PC for how long now? Bro didn't have NVIDIA GeForce experience until last night. <laughs> I had to send him the link to it. Yeah, you kind of need that. Otherwise, GPU. You. That's probably why he was lying so bad. You want, how do I update my drivers? So I was like, what? Oh boy. This is why I don't ever recommend people who, you know, were on consoles for years to switch to PC, because they say shit like that. <laughs> oh no, God forbid. <laughs> you should know how to update your Windows and your drivers. It's not hard. I just it's always do it so far and years, <laughs> few and far between that I'm like, wait, how do I do this again? They open and close just fine. Why would I need to update them? Why would I need <laughs> new ones? <laughs> That's my new laugh. <laughs> that was a laugh. That sounded like a fucking pterodactyl dying under seven feet of fucking snow. Could you imagine somebody, you'd like talking to somebody and go to laugh and they just go, <laughs> who, the, who the fuck was that girl that was on fucking ridiculousness with the awful laugh? Chanel. Yeah. That sounded like a pterodactyl trying to go like, No, yeah, Chanel was, laughs like a dolphin chirping like <laughs> oh I like that one i fucking hate that one <laughs> mike i can hear you twice, twice. <laughs> sorry i love comedian and i watch and he was doing the show and he was doing some crowd work and some lady and the crowd was laughing like that so it's, it was, it was good. it's awesome where's your oh was... i know I have finished devouring the salt and vinny chips, which means that it's time. Say the full word. Vinny. No, the full word. That is the full word. What comes after Vinny? Gur. Gur. No, before the Gur. Uh. <laughs> Vin uh. Go on. Gur. Hey, where's the storage room of yours? It's a secret. No girl is allowed. <gasps> what? Is this glass right here? Yes. I, I, I have to go. Who are Yo, you? Quit talking about it. No, you. Why do you just have lava right here? Because it was there. I thought it would look cool. Um... How the fuck do you get out of here? I mean, Why do you need this many? We'll see. See if I care. Good. See if I care. See if I give a fuck. See if I care. 
Can I get any gold I can use? Uh, no, I don't. Who is that guy? <laughs> you don't have like two. No, Who not really. How do I get out of here? Is that the same way you came in? I have to break blocks? No. Jeez. Uh, Oh. God. Oh, fucking oops. All right, that's where we're going to end the stream. I didn't do much besides just clear out space in mine. I apologize for that, for not doing interesting builds. But uh, we had good conversations along the way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. See you all next time.